Yes. Your name? Uh, Evelyn Bueno. 32. And where were you brought up? I was born and raised in Jacksonville. <laughs> and uh, studied voice in Chicago, but never went to college. Uh -huh. What do you mean, voice? Uh, singing? Yes. Uh huh. All right, uh, but you 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 were brought up most of your life. You spent right around here. Well, as far as the life goes, yes. But I'd go to Philadelphia for a while, uh -huh. and come back, and then go to Chicago for a while. And come All back. right. Now you'll tell the story. Apparently, the interest in the story is just to have you talk naturally, mm -hmm. and at the same time, we'll have the story. So would you j try just stay here? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, the story was told to me. Two years ago, by one of the heirs to the uh, Reed Plantation, Mulberry Grove, which is just south of Jacksonville. She said that right after the war, when the slaves were freed, she gave she told Mariah, the cook of her freedom, and gave her the house at the end of the field to live in. So Mariah and all of her children set out. And the youngest and the tiniest, at the end of the line, would fall down and get up, fall down again and get up. So Mrs. Pearson called to Mariah and said, you're losing one of your children, Mariah. And Mariah turned back and says, you can have that one, Miss Pearson, if you want it. That's all. Uh, Dr. Course, would you please uh, explain why that we asked have this record made? <clears throat> this record was made at, uh, for the purpose of recording the enunciation of an educated southern white voice, and the story was uh, one which was recorded by the federal writers as part of their work for the American Guide series, Volume Florida. Thank you.